Action. <clears throat> What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Jew. And I'm back again with another Jew Tunes video. And today, I'm going to show you how to make this locker room scene, man. Check it out. All right. Now we back. Now we back from the video. I want to teach you guys how to make that scene. Um... Thank you guys for supporting me in my uh, YouTube page and my art and everything. So in return, I'm going to bless you guys with some knowledge. So thank you, and all the members out there that's supported me on my best, uh, supported me on my Patreon. Preach. Whether it's free or paid, still love you. It don't matter because you support me. So let's rock. All right. So this scene I got is from a short film that I'm working on. I can't speak about it, but. You know, I can show y'all this one scene. I can at least show you how to do this one scene, okay? Uh, I'm currently working with this studio. Really can't really talk about it. Uh, I asked them if I can, sh like, when I modeled, when I modeled the scene, I asked if I could show it on my YouTube channel. And they was like, sure, but you can't really get too much information on it. And I was like, okay, that's cool. Uh, I just want to show my viewers on how to make scenes and stuff. So, boom, here we are. So, okay. Now let's get started. So we got Blender up and running. Okay, so let us get this. All right, we're gonna, you already know we're gonna delete everything in the box, I mean, in the all scene. So you wanna hit A and delete. Now let's add Shift A. We're gonna add a cube. This is how I usually start my scenes. I started with a basic cube, pretty much everything. And then I scale it up. So hit S, scale it up to a nice little size, right? Let's get it down just a tad bit, man. All right, and then guess, so this is basically our room, our scene. So we are going to delete these faces, some of these faces, that way we can have what we need. So go to edit mode and face select mode, hit X, delete face. Go back to object mode and we're going to scale it, oh, go to front view, hit RZ90, let's see, okay. Front view mode, and we're gonna scale it on the X a little. Let's go to the right view, and we're gonna scale it back on it. We're gonna go to tab, and we're gonna bring this face back. Bring it back like this. Just get some room in there. All right, so now. We have our base. So this is like a base for us. Just setting up the little foundation right now. We just gonna move these, these sides like this. And mind you, I created this scene already. So I'm just redoing it for you guys. And plus it's kind of practice for me, so yeah. All right, so now we got our uh, first box. Now let's set up our camera. So if you hit Shift A, Go to camera, go to camera view, which is numpad zero, and then you can hit T, I mean hit N to bring up this side panel, and then go to view, and click this check, camera to view, and just scroll out, that way you'll be able to adjust your camera the way you need. Scroll out like this. And I'm gonna just change my settings. So it's at a 50. I want, let's see. I should be at like a 35. Do a little, almost a wide angle a little bit. We do like a little 35. And we just gonna, okay, so we gonna have the camera light like right here. We gonna scoot this back. Actually, let's put, yeah, we're gonna scoot this back, the camera back some, and put these edges on the outside. 
you can uncheck this that way you're not changing the view on accident so uncheck this that way we can just move this forward make sure y'all hear me man all right boom so now we got that okay now as you can see we finna do some placeholders right quick so now we finna set up our lockers we finna set up placeholders for our lockers okay okay let's see <clears throat> so how should we want this so by the way my screen looks let's see Okay, so the way the screen looks, and I'm looking on my iPad, by the way. I'm gonna show you guys a picture of what I'm looking at. That way you can get an idea of what, the, what, uh, what I'm looking at. All right, so we should have a locker on, okay. So let's start with our first locker placeholder. It's just gonna be a regular square. That way when we get our locker, cause shit, I don't know, we might look. Since y'all members, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna keep, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. The more you start getting into making scenes, the more lazy you gonna get. And the more, the more you gonna wanna download free models. Cause sometimes modeling some of the littlest shit, you don't have time for that. You wanna make the scene, and you want to make it as efficient and, and make it make your life easier. That's that's all I'm trying to tell you. So I'm gonna teach you how to do that. We go, we gonna we not gonna model everything, but I'm gonna I'm gonna give you an idea if you do, if you want to model everything. But we just worried about creating scenes right now. So we are going to get this locker from Sketchfab, a, uh, a free model of a locker. I'm going to uh, send the link. I'm going to put the link in the description. Or, yeah. Or, I can upload. Anyway, it goes. It's probably going to be in the link in the description. So, yeah. Uh, anyways, let's continue. Okay. So, we got, right now, we got a locker on the right side. So, let's hit Shift A, Mesh, and a Q. <clears throat> now, we got a square. Now, let's place... Let's go to top view mode, hit x-ray mode, alt Z. We're gonna move this to the side like this on the Y, I mean on the X axis. Go back to the camera mode and let's move this up where it's touching the plane. And how you, when I'm doing this, I'm holding um, shift. So I hit G, Z and then hold shift. That way it don't go crazy like this. You can control it. I had a little precise movement right here. All right, boom. Then we're gonna move that on the Y axis, closer toward the camera. Scale that on the, uh, scale this on the X, make it a little narrow. So this is our first locker right here. Right? <clears throat> we'll move this toward this, toward this back. Let's see, probably like toward the back here. Like All right. And then let's scale this on the Y. Cause the locker's kind of long, right? Pause. And then we're gonna scale that on the Z. We'll bring that up. Make sure it's still on that plane. And you can move this back this way like that. Right? I'm just moving it on the X just a little bit right here. So we got our first locker right here. All right, we got our first locker right here. All right, so next, our next locker will be going on the other side. So we're gonna hit Shift D. So let's type in 
Oh, this Q. Oh, these are locker placeholders. So let's type in Shift D. Let's do Shift D. Oh shit, Shift D. Right click to cancel the movement. And we're just gonna move it on the X, right? But this one, we're gonna place it horizontal. So we're gonna hit R and C 90 degrees. We're gonna scale that in this way. And move this up this way. Boom. Let's change the focal length to 55. Or, no, let's change it back to 35. 35. We're gonna make this 35. Okay. <coughs> let's move this over just a tad. About right here. Put that in the corner right here. All right. So that's where the second locker is going. All right. And now we're going to place the third locker. So we got another locker that is going to be in this section right here. So we're going to hit Shift D, R, Z, 90. Rotate that. And move that back on the Y. We're going to put our next locker right here. That. Let me just scale it on the X. And shit, you might not even see it, this in the scene, but you know what I'm saying? You might not even see that. And then we're gonna add another locker right here in the back. So shift D, R, Z, 90. You can hit G and shift Z. That way it's moving on every axis but the Z axis. All right, now if you go top view mode, so we in the top view. <clears throat> All right, boom. So now we got our locker set up, you know, you know okay? Don't worry about the outside, we just worry about the inside. So we got our locker set up. And now we are going to be... So this stage is called blocking. We just blocking out our scenes right now. You blocking out our scenes. So next, we are going to be, going to be adding, what else? Benches. So we're going to add some benches. So we're going to do Shift A. We can do Cube. Let's scale that on the Z. Go to top view, x-ray mode, scale it on the Y. That way it look like a little bench for them to sit on. And we're gonna bring it up and scale it on the Z again. All right, so this is bench number one, bench placeholder. Bench place holder one. All right. And we're going to move this first bench to this side right here. Boom. Move that first bench like that. Okay. Right now the bench ain't got no legs because we ain't worried about the legs. Like I said, it's blocking stages. So let's uh to um let's see. In a few, once we get everything blocked, now we're gonna color code everything, make sure everything is where it needs to be, and then I'm gonna meet you back in the next video. In part two. Alright. So this, we, we got this locker. So this is locker three, locker holder three, locker place holder three, right? All right, so we're gonna stretch this on the X. Move this 
I mean, yeah, stretch it on the X like that. If you want, let's. I want to move this back wall. So to the back, so we can hit this back wall. Hit G Y to about right here. Y'all want to get some more? Um, what you call it? Like depth. I'm gonna move this locker back. So it's touching that wall. Alright, bam. Alright. Alright, boom. We're gonna add our next bench. Alt D. Hit Alt D. Right click to cancel it. Hit rotate R on the Z as in zebra axis. And hit 90 degrees, enter. Then we're gonna hit G to grab, shift plus Z as in zebra. That way we're moving on every axis but the Z axis. And we can place this bench right here. And check this out too, y'all. I'm gonna teach you how to do like realistic renders, especially in Eevee, bro. Once you learn how to do realistic renders in Eevee, bro, and then you know Eevee like kind of renders kind of fast, depending you know, on what you're doing. So I'm gonna teach you how to finesse this, man. Finesse it the right way. So we got our bench placeholder two. And then next, we're gonna get it place our another one. Oh yeah, forgot to do some. So this is what I just did in the other one. I had two lockers. So this is what I did. So hold on, I'm gonna move this up, y'all. If y'all don't know what I'm doing right now. I, I just shift select them two and I'm just gonna move these up like this. No. Move that. And then I forgot I be having I saw I can scale this on the X. I'm gonna scale this lock on the X right. And then I also shift D it. Cause it's another, I do another locker on the other side. I forgot that I did that. So I shift D it and the other locker is on this side. Therefore, it gives that illusion. Also, you see that little crease right here? It gives it more character in the scene. So when you see like stuff like, little stuff like creases in the scene like that, it makes it more look realistic. So that's what I do that. And I do the same for this one too. So I hit Shift D. And G Put that little crease in there, man. You gotta have that little gap. Make it look more realistic. And then I'm gonna just join these right here. And join those right there. And I just did those for those, okay? Now, as you can see, it's coming along, you know. Let's move these to the side a little bit. Make sure, I'm gonna just keep that little gap in the scene though. But yeah, little stuff like that, you have to pay attention to to make your scene more realistic, you know? All right, so we got the placeholders. Uh, let us add another bench, Alt D. G, Shift C, we're gonna place it right here. R, Z, just placing it, just placing it right there where it needs to be. So we got that. All right, so now what else? We got our placeholders. Okay. All right, so now let's color code. Let's color code the scene. That way we know what is what and 
we can all um, make it more appealing to the eyes. Plus, you want to be organized when you do stuff like this. That way, you don't be confusing your brain. So, so let us color code this. So all the lockers are going to be, of course, gray. Let's give it a simple color. Right. So color, we're going to color this gray. We're just going to put, go to viewport this way. Or now nah, we're gonna make all the lockers blue. Just just for only uh oh, shit. make it a color, but I don't know. Shit, we're gonna make this right here gray. Then we just gonna add that right here. This one. This one. Alright, so those are all the lockers. All the lockers are like grayish, blackish, whatever you want. And then all the benches are gonna be brown. We're gonna make it a little bit brownish. You know? It's coming together, y'all. Y'all can actually see it come together, man. If you want, let's move this. Let's get some more room right there, boom. All right. Now, let's color this wall. Let's make sure the wall is what we need. Yes, I don't know. Like a, I'll make it like a little. I can make it, yeah, I'll make it like this. We'll just leave the wall like that since we can tell. Okay. All right, so we have everything blocked out. Let's go to camera view. We have everything blocked out. Right? Now let us, we're going to split this screen right quick. Let's split this. And T and T. So let's split this screen. And now on the camera view. Well, we're gonna animate the camera first. That way we can have an idea of what's it doing. So we're gonna hit I. Let's go to I'm gonna change this. Change the in frame to 350. Just give it a little extra 100 frames. So we're gonna hit I right here for the camera. We're gonna animate the camera. So we're gonna do like a slow push in. Make it like dramatic type shit. So we're gonna hit I. Hold on, do that. Make sure for the ones who didn't see, hit I as an igloo and insert keyframe menu and click location. Then we're gonna go all the way to probably frame 210. And then we're gonna move the camera, hit grab, as in G, and hit Y. And we're gonna move it, like just pan like right there. Type shit. Then you're gonna hit I and location. Then what you wanna do is you wanna grab these two keyframes right here, make sure these two are selected, right click, interpolation mode right here, linear. So linear, it just keep the same, that same speed. It keeps that same speed like that. Bezier, it starts off slow, and then it builds up speed and then it slows down, but you want to do li linear to keep that same speed. And me, I want to slow it down just a tad. So that's why I move this right here. Get that slow. That way, give the audience or whoever you showing, give them um, some time to preview it. Make it a little bit more slower, y'all. Let's 
see. Type shit. If you want to make it that slow, that is on that last frame, that last keyframe is on. 282, 280, yeah, 282. All right, so with this, this locker right here, I have to move this into the scene, well, into the camera view. So about right here, that locker has to be seen. I want that locker to be seen, because I might put some characters right there. All right, guys, you made it to the end of part one. To continue this course, feel free to join my Patreon with only $8 a month. You'll be able to create any scene from scratch the proper way. You'll be able to block it out, you'll be able to color code it, and you'll be able to light it cinematically and color grade it. With this, you'll have early access to all my courses and to exclusive tutorials. Also, I will be dropping every day for the locker room scene course. So if you guys aren't tuned in, please tune in. That way you can be ahead. So please join, don't hesitate, and expand your 3D knowledge from yours truly, Jew.